Why you got that dude touching on you? Why you got that girl on you like that? Why you allow her to manipulate your mind and now you in her bedroom and now she got dirt on you? Why are you allowed now your marriage is ruined? Now you done gave a woman that's not your wife benefits to your body not knowing that she got audio tape, not knowing that she's gonna use it to destroy your ministry, your business? Why are you letting that man touch up on your breasts, on your, on your, on your body? It's crazy how many people give people their body not knowing it and giving them their, giving that person your body. You're now giving them your soul. The Bible says don't awaken love before it's time. So many people allow people to touch up on them triggering emotions. Don't you know your body registers that that person is your soul sex giver? And all of a sudden now many people don't, they registered. Now you got seven people registered to you and your body's confused because your body's like, is it Jimmy? Is it Johnny? Or is it Joseph? Is it Kelly? Is it Captain? Is it Susie? Who is it? Who's the person that's supposed to love on you? That's why you don't let people touch your body because it triggers different emotions and sexual experiences. Now I got your mind all wired and the blood is flowing to certain sexual Order, and now you want them and now you begin to acquire you can't be addicted to what you never had that's why don't let the devil cause you to touch things for your time because then you become addicted to things you listen you become addicted now before i got married i wasn't addicted to those sex i didn't know what sex felt like but if you if you allow yourself to touch allow people to touch on you then all of a sudden now you gave that man your body don't you know that he can never erase your your body out of his mind don't you know she got now she got she know your size and not comparing your size to everybody else not everybody's supposed to be having dick pics from you not everybody's supposed to be showing a, a triple x below the neck of you you gotta be able to make sure you keep yourself covered in private because the real man and real woman deserve to see all of you but if you let everybody touch up on you your body is a benefit your breasts your behind don't let nobody touch your elbow get off my elbow don't don't don't, don't hug on me pound it out pound it out don't allow nobody all up on you brushing up on you push her up off you no i'm not gonna even allow you to think that you can touch my body but most people, here's my body. I'm insecure. I need sex. So here's my body. And how many partners you still regret to this day? People who will never, people who will never forget you. People who know all, who seen you naked that shouldn't have seen you naked. That's why you know people be looking at these Instagram moms like you. You really want to be in awe of a woman who shows her body to everybody else. Women who carry themselves a certain kind of way, showing their bodies to everybody else. Men sending four or five different women their 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 penis sizes, asking them do do look at me. Man, insecure people do that. Secure people. People say, you know what? No eyes here. If you ain't my wife, if you ain't my husband, if you, listen, we ain't about, because I know that if I allow you to touch me, then I'm going to go deeper. Lust has no boundaries. Once you touched on her wrist, oh, you got chills because you ain't been touched in years. All of a sudden, they got chills down your spine. Oh, he brushed up on me. Listen, you're right. The simple hugs leads to, to leads to digging in. It leads to other things. It leads to deeper forms of sex. That's why I tell people certain things are gateways to deeper things. That's why you got to be like, you can't touch my body. And you shouldn't be touching your body in certain kind of ways. Uh, uh, jacking off or fingering yourself because then you're going to start the engine. You know how there's cars in people's garages that have the covering over them? And they ain't drove that car in years? Don't be putting gas in cars that ain't meant to be drove in this season. Keep it covered. Keep it in the garage. Keep it where nobody sees. But the moment you start touching on yourself, then you, listen, that ain't going to be good no more. Then that's why I tell men, you can't be out here in pornography or masturbating in women too. Because your mind can't handle those sensors going off. God forbid if I ever had a threesome. I wouldn't be able to know how to handle one woman anymore because now I've opened myself to want more. Most people, they start doing all these different sexual things. Wow, look at how she do that. Oh, look at how big he is. Oh, look at that. And then all of a sudden, the one God has for you ain't got one like that dude. The one God has for you can't do splits and pop it like she do. And all of a sudden, that person can't satisfy you. I know God won't give you nobody until that's out of your life. But I'm telling you right now, so many people... Touch on me, and you give me your body. Your body should be so so disconnected from others that that men have to go. Oh, you ain't gonna let me hug you. Oh, you ain't gonna let me. No, that's not that's not how I do things. Here are my policies and procedures, and you have to be okay with that. Most people who's not okay with the time that God has them reserve will begin to lower their standards to reserves. You don't got time to lower your standards to reserves. There's a lot of people down here, ain't that? It's like a triangle. There's a lot of people down here, but it ain't that many people at the top. And you got to be able to say, if you a top, if you a, if you a high person, a, a person of standard, don't settle yourself down the pyramid where everybody else is. 
be elite. <laughs> be be at the top. If you don't listen, no matter how long it takes, because I rather spend the bulk of my time waiting than the bulk of my time regretting. It's better for you to wait two or three years for somebody than to be in a 20-year marriage of pain. I'm telling you right now, it's better to be what the one guy has for you and suffer and through loneliness and wait and got up and reserving my requirements for years. It's better to suffer the pains of that than to suffer the pains with someone that you force fit into your life. Your body is God's temple. And he don't want nobody in it. He don't want nobody touching it. It's supposed to be holy unto him until he brings the right person. Don't you know God knows what's best for you? He knows what type of man is best for you. You don't got to have sex with somebody to find out what kind of size you want. Don't you know God is a detailed God? He knows what's going to satisfy you. God created sex, yo. God created sex. So you don't think the one, it wasn't what's his name that created sex. God created. He knows what size is good for you. He knows what kind of woman that will satisfy, whose breasts will satisfy you. He knows. He created it. So if he created it, trust him with it. You don't got to test drive what's tailored for you. You don't got to test drive what's custom made. If the car was custom made for you, you don't got to test drive it because you knew that it was made for you.